about 7.30, leaving the hut, bright and early. Uh, it's a long walk today, it's pretty flat but long, so I hope I'll keep a good pace and make it about two or three hours, uh, no, three hours, maybe four, because it's like, I think it's around 20 kilometers. So at four kilometers an hour, it's supposed to be five hours. I really don't want to take five hours to do that walk. All right, so let's keep it up. First break of the day. I'm trying to keep a pace of around four kilometers an hour. The brake won't help, but you know, when I'm walking. And so far I've done six kilometers in an hour and a half, so I'm pretty good. Uh, there's 11 kilometers left, which means I've kind of did one third, yeah. So yeah, uh, I have three hours left and it's nine, so I should arrive at the motorbike around 12, which is perfect. I'm not in a hurry, I'm going to a campground after that. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to leave the walking forest lifestyle, visit a couple of cities, Nelson, Picton and Wellington, probably nothing, not much to see in Picton, but anyways, uh, spend a bit of time in Wellington and why I plan to, what I plan to do on the North Island is try to find a chill spot to uh, do my own like surf camp find a place where I can rent some surfboards a uh, cheap campground not too far away and stay there for a couple of days and surf and just chill of course this place is infested with sand flies which will keep me going <laughs> which is actually a good thing to keep my pace not stopping for very long just had a bit of a drink ate some raisins and and let's go I'm tired of the cynical life you lead all right back at the car park the motorbike still there just gonna get a little bit of water over there, get ready. Ah, it was a good walk. I'm happy it's done, and I kind of don't plan on doing big walks for a little while. So tired of the consequences of your. at a time on the way to Nelson. I can need 20 cents for one of them which has a hot shower and probably a bit of electricity. The other ones I have enough in cash. 
Uh, I'm gonna check around town what I can do. Here I saw that there was a museum. Most museums here in New Zealand are free. So I thought I might check it out. I haven't done that much in a while. Alright, so it's not so much a museum but more like a collection of kind of old items. But yeah, it's, it's nice. You see enemies at every turn. Alright, not much to see. The I have the choice between two campgrounds. One is ten dollar is closer, one is eight dollar is further. But the ten dollars has more like kind of luxury. The thing is I only have nine eighty, so I need to withdraw some cash. There's probably a fee if I withdraw cash here, so I'm gonna go to the supermarket, buy a bunch of stuff and ask for like ten dollars or something like that. So long as you're winning, you'd let the whole world burn. Get out of my head. How did you get there? Get out of my head. How did you get there? Get out of my head. How did you get there? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, staying here tonight it's just bef just before the Nelson city it's right at the crossroad of two very noisy roads so I have to use my earbuds tonight uh, here I'm going to get some water they say that this water is not suitable for drinking and I should we need to boil it first they're probably right I just don't have any other source and I don't have anything to boil it so I actually have uh, another bottle of water that I picked from somewhere else that might be better I just don't know so I'm gonna take some here I'm gonna try not to use it and get good water tomorrow it seems fine just need to pick the right spot No fun. <laughs>